Mr. Dennis. You can't want another glass of water. Heck no. I just had a glass while I was downstairs. What were you doing downstairs? I went down to see who was making all that noise. And boy, will you be surprised when I tell you who it was. Who? It's that masked ranger from TV, wearing his mask and everything. And I think he's going to do another good deed. What? Sure, Mom. I think he's going to clean all your silver, because he's taking it all out of the buffet. <laughs> you learned how to shake the money out of it to buy sodas and candy. I just gotta have two dollars. What do you need it for? Something that costs Georgie eight dollars and I can have the whole thing for two if I act fast. Ooh, what is this great bargain? I'll show you. Georgie's white mice. Jennifer and Caesar with the whole cage. Oh, fine. Just what we need. Sure. And the case is just perfect. Except the door's a little bit loose, but Dad can fix that. Isn't that swell? Oh, swell. So will you give me the two dollars? No, I won't. Now, if you want those two mice, you can just buy them yourself. Boy, I got a swell start. Now all I need is a dollar and 95 cents to go. That's the spirit. You got any ideas on how to earn the rest of it? Sure. Mrs. Wilson's away, and maybe good old Mr. Wilson needs something done. <laughs> Yes, who is it? It's me, Mr. Wilson. Oh, hello, Dennis. I got something real important to talk to you about. Okay, talk. Sheepers with you up there and me down here. Isn't it kind of hard for you to hear me? As a matter of fact, it is. You better talk louder. I got something real important to show you. All right, Dennis. The front door is unlocked. Come on in. No, it isn't. Maybe it was the back door I left open for the gas man. <laughs> All right, now, Dennis, what did you... <laughs> would I get down here? You could have jumped out the window. <laughs> now you wait there. I'll be right up. <laughs> oh, Dennis, don't you touch that chessboard. Heck no, I'm just looking. Uh, I've been up half the night working out an extremely complicated chess move. Now, what was it you wanted to show me? First, I want to ask you if you have any odd jobs to be done. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Wilson away, I have any number of them. A dollar ninety-five cents worth? Easily. 
they consist mostly of cooking, sewing, and washing socks. Jeepers. I'm better at doing things like raking leaves. Now, if you were a tailor, you could really help me out. I lost the button that goes there, and I can't find where Mrs. Wilson keeps the buttons. Why don't you use a safety pin? Well, I would if I had one. The trouble is, I've looked all over the house, and I can't seem to find where Mrs. Wilson keeps the <laughs> safety pins, either. Here's one, Mr. Wilson. Hmm? Oh, yes, that looks about the right size. Well, yes, I think that's going to do the job just fine. <laughs> there. That's better. That's more like it. Thank you, Dennis. You're a big help. How much worth, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> well, uh, I'd say a dime's worth. Gee, thanks, Mr. Wilson. Now all I need is a dollar and 85 cents. You still haven't told me what you want the money for. To buy those two small white mice from Georgie, including the cake. <laughs> Dennis, you get those rodents out of my house immediately. You mean Jennifer and Caesar? I mean those mice right there. Now you take these two. <laughs> Dennis, when you came in here, were the two mice in this cage? Sure, Jennifer and Caesar. Hey, where's Caesar? He's <laughs> loose somewhere in this house. Jeepers, it's lucky you don't have any elephants or they'd be scared. <laughs> That's an old wives' tale, Dennis. I know. Old wives and elephants are scared of them. Can you stop talking and start looking for him? Sure, we have to, or else you owe Georgie a dollar. <laughs> Let's everybody shake their pants legs. <laughs> oh, Dennis. Uh, uh, you run down to the refrigerator and get some cheese. I think I'd rather have a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> it's not for you, it's for that blasted mouse. I think he'd rather have peanut butter, too. Dennis, I will give you ten minutes to find him before I go over and borrow Mrs. Perkins' cat. Oh, don't do that, Mr. Wilson. I'll find him. He's probably in a dark corner, I bet you. <laughs> Here he is on my chessboard. Well, I'll hold the cage while you put him in. Don't worry if he runs up your sleeve. He likes to keep warm that way. Here, I'll hold the cage. You put him back. Dennis, look what you've done. You've ruined my entire strategy for tonight. Excuse me, Mr. Wilson. Caesar was so fast, I couldn't help it. Now I'm gonna have to have that safety pin back to hold the door shut. Oh, well, all right then. Give me back my dime. Jeepers, I thought I was kind of renting the pin to him. Oh, you can keep the dime. Just go. Mr. Wilson, could you lend me a dollar and 85 cents? No, I couldn't. Now hold it. Hold it! <laughs> Bye, Mr. Wilson. Sorry you lost your buttons. <laughs> Hi, Dad! Hi, son! Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh, that's nice to hear. What have you been doing all day? I've been trying to earn some money. Any luck? I rented a safety pin to Mr. Wilson for a dime because he had a button missing. <laughs> hey, Dad, do you have any buttons missing? No, I'm afraid not. Uh, what do you need the money for? Remember when I wanted a horse and you said it was too big? Yes. And then I wanted a pony and you said that was too big. Yes. And then I traded my bike for a gold, and you made me take it back because you said that was too big. Well, that wasn't the only reason, Dennis. <laughs> What's this all about? Well, I asked myself, what kind of animals would good old Dad like to have in the house? What did I say? Mice. Mice? <laughs> sure. And Georgie's got two of them in a cage for two dollars. So will you give me a dollar and 85 cents? I'm sorry, son. You ought to have that much in your piggy bank. Keepers, Dad. That piggy bank leaks. You wouldn't if you didn't shake it. No, I'm afraid you'll have to save the money yourself. Have you been talking to Mom? <laughs> oh, but I've got to. We need a sitter for tonight. Why don't you hire me? Because the sitter's for you. <laughs> Your mom and I have to go out to the airport and meet a very important client. Then we're going out to dinner. 
Mom's in the kitchen. Okay. Dennis eating his dinner? Well, he's sitting at the table picking at it with his fork. What time would you at the airport? 7.30. 7.30? I thought you said 8. Oh, I just checked with the airport. The plane's early. Oh. What time's the sitter coming? Not until 7.30. Oh, maybe I better call her and... Oh, I'll get it, honey. Thank you stay here and finish dressing. All right. Hi, Mr. Wilson. You want to wear my safety pin again? No, I don't. I came over to see your father. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hi. Dennis, have you finished with your dinner? Yep. Eat it all? Heck no, Dad. I'm just finished with it. So we're right out in the kitchen and eat. Well, what can I do for you, Mr. Wilson? Uh, well, I have a little problem, Mitchell. Oh, yes, I know. Dennis has been over bothering you for a job. Oh, oh no, no. That's not the problem. You see, Monsieur Gustave Boucher, the international chess champion, and his wife are in town. Oh, yes, I read about it in the paper. Oh, well, since I'm not unknown in chess circles, uh, he called me and I invited them to dinner. I'd intended taking them to the lobster house. Well, it sounds like a wonderful evening. Well, unfortunately, they assumed they were having dinner at my house and uh, they brought their little boy along. What's the matter with that? Take the little boy along to the lobster house. Well, Mitchell, the boy is Dennis's age. <laughs> took Dennis over to the lobster house once and... Oh, yes, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I've persuaded his parents that a babysitter is customary in America. So you need a babysitter. Well, we have oh, a home. No, 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 no. I've already arranged for a babysitter, but I don't have anything in the house to feed the little fellow. Well, your problem is solved. Bring him over here. We have plenty. Well, thank you, Mitchell. Thank you very much. I'll... If he's a pretty good kid, why don't you let him stay with me? Well, that's a good idea, Dennis. Oh, but I have a sitter of my own coming. Well, it seems silly for both of us to pay a sitter. Yes. I guess one of us is wasting his money at that. Why don't you cancel yours, Mr. Wilson? Oh, no. It's only fair that I pay. You cancel yours. I don't know. Our sitter, Mrs. Porter, is a very dependable woman. Well, so is mine. And since I'm the one who's asking the favor... Well, all right. You have it your way. You can pay. Ah, oh, fine. I'll run over and get little Michelle. Uh, thank you very much. Not at all. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, hmm? when you come back from the lobster house, will you bring me a claw? Now, what do you want a claw for? so I can scare that dumb old Margaret. <laughs> oh, Miss Porter, this is Henry Mitchell. Could we cancel out with you tonight, please? Thank you very much. We'll make it up to you another time. Thanks a lot, Miss Porter. Good night. Mais tu sais, c'est Nice, hein? Oui. Une photo de Nice, nous étions là la semaine dernière. Well, we are all set. We just dropped Michelle off next door at the Mitchells and be on our way. We do not have to wait for the babysitter. Oh, no. Uh, the Mitchell sitter will be taking care of both the boys tonight. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, uh, I'll, uh, I'll cancel mine. <laughs> Michelle, this is Dennis Mitchell, Mrs. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, this is little Michelle Boucher. How do you do, Michelle? Comment allez-vous, madame? Monsieur? Monsieur? Boy, you gotta stop talking like that or mama will wash your mouth out with soap. <laughs> She's speaking French. French? Jeepers, what's that? It's a foreign language. Jeepers? Qu'est-ce que c'est des jeepers? <laughs> oh, well, that's just an expression, Michelle. Uh, well, what does Jeepers mean? Well, it means like Gee Whiz or Crimey Sakes. Yes, like Gee Whiz. Or... Oh, never mind, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, I'm sure you're hungry. If you come into the kitchen, I'll fix you some dinner. Thank you, Madame Michelle. I do have much hunger. <laughs> Even when I understand you, you talk funny. Oh, that's enough, Dennis. Come on, boy. Sweetheart, we're running late. All right. Oh, say, why don't you two go on ahead? I'll wait for the babysitter to arrive. Well, that'd be wonderful, Mr. Wilson. Oh, it's the least I can do after the way you helped me out of my spot. I'll go get Alice's coat. <laughs> you don't even know how to play baseball? Boy, is there a lot I gotta teach you. <laughs> Here you are, Michelle. Sweetheart, Mr. Wilson says he'll wait for the sitter. We can go. Oh, thank you, Mr. Wilson. Oh. Now, Dennis, remember to go to bed when the sitter tells you to. In this house, we always obey the sitter. Oh, yes, Madame Michelle. <laughs> Good night, Dennis. Good night, Michelle. Nice. Good night, Dennis. We'll Michelle. be home early. Bye. Denise, how do you call these dish? That's called chicken a la king. But you don't have to eat it anymore because they're gone. But I like it. You should have come over earlier. You could have had mine, too. <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, no. 
You, uh, you entertain your little guest. I'll get the door. And if it's the babysitter, I'll see you later. Boy, I got something you like swell. <laughs> These aren't laceries. They're mine. <laughs> oh, good. You're here. You'll find the two little boys out in the kitchen. <laughs> hello. Hello. Is your mother home? No. Isn't that why you're here? I'm from the drugstore. And since it's on my way home, I brought her this jar of cold cream she ordered. Tell her I'll put it on her bill. Okay. <laughs> How'd you like to be part owner of these mice? Louis? we? Huh? Yes. Got any money? Hmm, no. I was hoping French kids were different. <laughs> Where did you make the babysitter a hives? I don't know. We've been waiting an hour. I don't think she's going to come or she would have been here by now. Your father will be angry after having high on her. Yeah, he was going to pay her 50 cents an hour. Hey, that means I've been babysitting for you ever since they left. You babysitting for me? <laughs> sure, somebody's got to do it, and it's my house. And besides, I need the money. <laughs> Now we can stay up until our parents come home. Oh, no. In this house, you go to bed when the babysitter tells you to. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> but this is ridiculous. I never go to bed at 8 o'clock. In this house, well, I'm the babysitter and I'm going to do a good job of it. But. Jeepers. Now you talk back. Now, did you brush your teeth? Yes, I brushed them. Did you wash behind your ears? Certainement. You made me take a shower. All right. I'll say your prayers and get in bed and I'll tell you a story. Petit Jésus, protégez-moi. Ma soeur, mon frère et mon papa. Et pour ma petite maman, enlevez-lui tous ses tourments. What was that? My prayer. Well, to be on the safe side, you better say, now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> oui, I've been learning that one. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Si je dois mourir avant mon réveil, je prie le bon Dieu de garder mon âme. I have not learned the whole prior yet. I hope God understood that last part. Of <laughs> that, I'm sure. I never knew until last month. He understood English. <laughs> All right. Now get in bed and I'll tell you a story. Are you not going to bed too? Heck no. Babysitters can't go to bed. We have to stay up and eat sandwiches and watch television. <laughs> now, what story do you want me to tell you about? The one about the milkmaid. Milkmaid? I don't know any story about a milkmaid. It's the one the governor tells me. Jeepers, does the governor ever tell it to you? No, <laughs> just a governess. It goes like this. Where are you going to, my pretty maid? The man asked. I'm going to milking, she said. He said, may I go with you, my pretty maid? She answered kindly, You're welcome, sir. What is your father, my pretty maid? My father's a farmer, she said. Girl, I can't marry you, my pretty maid. <laughs> Nobody asked you, sir, she said. <laughs> is that a bedtime story? I'll tell you a bedtime story. You see, once upon a time, there was this great big fierce dragon, and fire came out of his nose. And he went up to this castle where there was this beautiful princess. And he snorted on the door till it burned down. <laughs> the princess looked out the window and saw the terrible dragon, and she screamed, 
Sir Lancelot, help me! Sir Lancelot was out in the forest sharpening his sword and putting peanut butter in his armor so it wouldn't squeak. <laughs> well, when he heard the princess screaming, he was about to put on his armor and go rescue her. When the black knight came up and caught him in his underwear and challenged him to a duel. Sacre bleu! Sir Lancelot put on his helmet and picked up his sword, and you know what? The hammer fell off. What did he do? He just started laughing. He grabbed the black knight's horse by the tail and started swinging it over his head. Isn't that swell? He. <laughs> Back at the castle, the dragon was going upstairs to the princess's room, and she hollered, if you don't get out of here, I'll call the fire department. Oh, this looks beautiful. Thank you. It's your right, Abish. Oh, merci. Oh, excuse me. Oh, who? Alice Mitchell. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hello, well, Mr. Wilson. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, I'd like you to meet Madame, Monsieur Boucher, Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell. How do you do? Mr. Wainwright, Mr. Wilson, and the Bouchers. Come on. Uh, Monsieur Wainwright. How do you do, Mr. Wainwright? It is a great pleasure to meet the parents of Dennis. Uh, will you not join us? Please. Oh, well, no, I think that uh, uh, Mitchell and Mr. Wainwright probably want to sit somewhere and talk business. Henry's smart enough not to talk business with me at dinner time. He just stuffs me with lobster and lets his expense account do the buttering. <laughs> That's right, you are on your expense account tonight, aren't you? Well, why don't we make room for you at our table? <laughs> Waiter, would you bring a couple of chairs, please? <laughs> you have such a nice little boy. Oh, merci. We are very proud of him. I hope he will be no trouble to your babysitter. Oh, he won't be a bit of trouble. But she isn't our babysitter, she's Mr. Wilson's. Oh. Oh, no, no, Alice, I canceled mine. I left your Mrs. Porter sitting with the children. Mr. Wilson, I canceled Mrs. Porter. Your woman is sitting with them. Oh, now, Mitchell, stop joking. I left your Mrs. Porter sitting with the children. Now, please, you'll get everybody upset just as we're about to enjoy a lovely dinner. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to make a call home. Did you turn the boys over to Mrs. Porter? Well, of course I did. She came to the door, and I said, hello, and she... Well, she was a very quiet woman. She didn't actually... Mr. Wilson, you do know our sitter, Mrs. Porter. Well, of course I know your Mrs. Porter. Uh, well, no, not exactly. What did she look like? Well, she was a slender, uh, dark-haired woman, about 35. Mrs. Porter is plump and gray. <laughs> Honey, I've just talked to Dennis. The boys are home alone. <gasps> No, I was taking care of Michelle. Oh, oh now, 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 calm yourself. Dennis is taking care. Dennis! <laughs> Great Scott! I hope your house is insured. <laughs> you excuse excuses, Mr. Wainwright. Of course, I have children of my own. You Thank run you. right along. Get there as fast as you can. I'll pay the check and be... I'll pay the check. <laughs> Michelle is asleep? Sure. Upstairs in my bed and in my pajamas and with my teddy bear. Oh, <laughs> it's the first door on the right upstairs. Oh, oh, Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Mercy. oh, Dennis, you were such a good boy. I know it. <laughs> Probably the best babysitter we've ever had. Sure. I started work at seven, and now it's nine. Fifty cents an hour, how much do you owe me? <laughs> that comes to exactly... Uh, one dollar. And I'm very happy to pay it, son. Gee, thanks, Dad. Oh, Mitchell, Alice, is everything all right? Yes. Everything is just fine, Mr. Wilson. Michelle is upstairs asleep, and Dennis did a wonderful job of babysitting. Dennis? Sure, and I didn't break anything either. <laughs> Dad paid me a dollar. Well, by golly, I'm going to give you a dollar, too. Here, you deserve it. Swell. Now I can buy Georgie's mice. You bet you can, son. <laughs> you certainly can, honey. And guess what? I'm going to have 12 of them. While you were away, they had puppies. 